All right, YouTube. I'm not sure if I've made a video down here yet. Uh, maybe actually the electric motors video is from down here. But here's Grandpa's little shop. Drill press. Um, milling machine. Little miniature grizzly. He's got two of these lathes. One here and one in the garage. That came from the local high school. I forgot, what are they, Logan? I can't remember. South Bend. South Bend lathes. They're, uh, I don't know. Not, probably three foot. I don't know how to measure. I know lathes are measured with the head size and then the length. Or I don't know that, but I, I assume that. Oh, he's always down here working on stuff. And here's what we picked up today. By we, I mean Grandpa. Don't quote me on this, but I think this is a... Uh, he thinks, I haven't done any research at all. He thought it was about a 1922 Briggs & Stratton FB. Uh, being the first Briggs that was made. I do know, I've looked him up before, that the... I can't remember which way it was. The slanted fins, were, I think, were older. Because they had a model after this with one single flywheel. Which I think Grandpa has one or two of them. Um... The flat ones were newer, and the slanted ones were older. And I just remember him telling me when I was looking for them to look for one with slanted fins. And this one's got the dual flywheels. So I believe this is a Model FB. I haven't looked at it for any serial numbers, but the guy we bought it off of is a really, really, really big, big Briggs & Stratton collector. So yeah, it's really cool. Doesn't have much compression, but the valves are, the valves don't move up and down very, very easily. Uh, he said he thought this was an original muffler, and this guy was pretty, uh, he's pretty up to date on his Briggs and Strand stuff. He's a little, getting a little older, um, as far as remembering stuff, but, yeah, so here it is. I'm down here in the shop, just checking it out. And I do have another Briggs and Strand that's the same muffler. So I don't know, maybe it was an original muffler off of one of these that we used on something else. But yeah, it's a really cool looking motor. <clears throat> Here's your little push rod and your open valves, you can see. I wonder if this is copper. Cause that would look really nice shined up if it was. If not, it will look nice painted. I think it's a brass carburetor. Looks brass. Top grandpa to shining it all up. Yeah, other than like one little broke piece right here. I haven't seen any broken fins. I did see one fin that was a little bit smaller. So they all where they're casted here. Oh. They're offset, which is kind of neat. I saw one fin over here that looks shorter. Maybe just from up top. Which one? This one. Looks a little shorter. I'm not sure. Maybe it's different on both sides. I don't know. But the quality control back then, say 20s at least, it's probably in the 20s. I don't think Grandpa would be that far off. <clears throat> The quality control wouldn't be what it is today. So yeah, I sprayed some PB Blaster down in the valve stems. Try to get it freed up a little bit. He's going to pull it all apart, do a valve job, and uh, I'm sure he'll have it running here in the next uh, couple days. So yeah, not he, he always tells me that this isn't a carburetor, it's a mixer. He doesn't say that about every carburetor, because some people consider every carburetor a uh, fuel and air mixer. But, uh, yeah, pretty neat little thing. He's been trying to buy this thing off this guy for a long time. For years and years. So, I don't know. Figured I'd take a quick video for a couple of our friends to see and stuff. So, uh, but yeah. And he also bought a two and a half horse associated hit and miss engine. So I'll take a video of that next. It's out in the garage and it's really cold. It got covered in snow. So, figured, ooh. Get a tag. Can you guys read the tag? I can't. Any better? So, anyway, we'll uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.